It's a mad, 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 mad world out there. Most of it courtesy of Alfred E. Newman, the face, the farce, and oftentimes the funny bone behind the iconic satirical magazine. Who is Alfred E. Newman? There's a lot of speculation about that. There was a dentist in Topeka, Kansas called Dr. Romaine, the painless dentist. And he would take out billboards on the side of the road with Alfred pointing to the missing tooth. And he'd say, what me worry, it didn't hurt a bit. And that is where Alfred E. Newman came from. If it's satire you're craving, get mad. No topic off limits, nobody gets a free pass. This one, always a crowd pleaser. Can't beat up Trump enough. You just cannot do it. This is one of my favorites. Started out as a stupid pun for Star Wars at the height of the Clinton investigation. There's Monica with the blue dress with it's the Hillary. stain. Hillary and Chelsea is R2-D2 and C-3PO. Oh, that's so brilliant. John Fakara has been Mads' editor-in-chief for 27 years, but he's been a fan a lot longer than that. I started trying to write for Mad in second grade, and I sent stuff in, and they immediately sent it back. And this little gavotte went on for many years until I was finally out of college, and I finally got uh, acceptance. This was your destiny? This was my destiny, yes. I think the main appeal of this magazine is that we don't take ourselves too seriously. Which is perhaps why the magazine has survived in the age of closing publications. MAD has made a point of saying don't take anything you hear at face value. Don't accept authority simply because it's authority. Think for yourself. And it raised several generations of skeptics to stand back and saying do I really believe this? It began as a comic book. 60 years later, the magazine is as much art as it is parody. Content married to context. Each artist, and each writer for that matter, they have a language of their own. 91-year-old cartoonist Al Jaffe is Mad's longest-running contributor. He created the famous Folden back in 1964. It showed a picture of Goldwater on one side, Rockefeller, on the other side, and it said, who really wants to be president in this picture? And you folded it and it turned into Richard Nixon. Who, four years later, would become president. Al, how would you describe your artwork? It's just uh, uh, what pours out of my twisted mind. Today, Matt continues to poke fun at everyone from politicians to celebrities, a stamp that you've earned your place in pop culture. This is our celebrity snaps. Over the years, many celebrities have sent their photo in holding mad, generally when they're in the issue. Oh, wow. So now, now they come in all the time. Just came in from the printer. Oh. A new issue. A new issue coming out? <gasps> Why, look! <gasps> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is wonderful! Even if it is just for a day, feels pretty good to be in such great company. Let's hug it out. Oh, man. I like that. It's good place.